here we are uh, back doing another video we've been quite a while but a, lot, but a lot has happened in Australia since we last spoke and we had major bushfires which were shocking and did a lot of devastation to our native wildlife and to the bushland and then we had some floods on top of that and now we have coronavirus which you probably all have but uh, Australia's been lucky so far. We haven't had too much um, of a problem. We have had, at this stage, about 35 deaths in the last three months, which is fairly low considering what's going on in Europe and China. But we just wanted to catch up and do an intro into our food video, which, you know, we, we are isolating. We are following the yeah we're following what the rules are and it's still getting out we're exercising as well which we're allowed to exercise and we, yes um, this morning we've been for a bike ride yeah um we, we walk down to the beach and go for a swim we've been out walking we go shopping when we have to uh yeah. we we're not actually socializing with anyone but uh yeah. we're, we're, we're getting by quite okay yeah we're, we're surviving we haven't killed one another and uh, <laughs> But, that may not that may not be long. <laughs> so um, yeah, Lindy's told me I've got to get back to golf again. I gave up yeah. golf for a couple of weeks, but I think she wants to get me out of the place a bit. Yeah, I think we are, <laughs> I think he needs a game of golf to get away from me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but look, surprising, we do spend about three quarters of our day in, so we are doing the right thing. But we'd like to get out on our bikes every second day at the worst, and 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 do some riding. And as Lindy said, we're walking. We're going down the beach nearly every day and having a good swim and, and so we're doing it but we are doing the right thing but and yeah, the weather so. here has been yeah, amazing <laughs> um, and the beach is beautiful yeah. there's no one down there virtually but yeah. us yeah it's, um, it's like a bit of a ghost town here at the moment because we are uh, for people that might know but we're in Tweed Heads still in, New, in northern New South Wales but we're right on the border of Queensland we're only a hundred meters from the Queensland border here in, in Coolangatta and uh, so you know they're stopping all the New South Wales cars from going into Queensland, but they don't stop us from walking around and we spoke to the police and we're allowed to keep walking across the, the border, go for our swim. There's a barrier at the end of our street <laughs> yeah. and then there's a barrier at the other end of the street. Yeah. Uh, but we can still get out okay. Yeah. And, and walking's fine. They've yeah. said they haven't got a problem with us walking to the beach. We're hoping that will continue for the whole time. There has been talk on the Gold Coast yeah. of closing down the beaches, which would be a bit of a disaster as far as we're concerned because we love our swimming. Yeah. Uh, and it yes. might only be the beaches up uh, it's Burley and all those other places where they have had people congregating in, in large numbers. So, But down yeah. here, it's, it's um, you know, there's... there's Oh, there's hardly anyone on the beaches, so it's quite good for down here. So anyway, we're going to see how we go, and all, all we can do is just keep doing the same as everybody else, doing our bit to stay isolated as much as we can. But getting out and getting the exercise, getting a bit of sun at the same time. We hope everybody that's watching is doing okay, you know, that you're all we, okay, and, and you know. We have a fairly positive attitude to yeah. this virus, um, and yeah. we feel that we can we can cope with it because we do <laughs> eat healthy food and we we think we have good immune systems neither one of us is suffering from any uh major uh problems with our health we don't have heart disease we don't have stroke we don't have diabetes uh, yeah we don't, don't have, have cholesterol problems, problems. yeah yeah basically and blood pressure we don't have that problem we don't have blood pressure yeah. actually neither one of us take medication yep. of any sort and we're both doing quite well and we're happy with the, the way our yeah. lives are progressing. But at the moment, uh, we've been forced into this position, so we've got to make the best of it. Yeah, so the best thing we can say to people, just keep eating plenty of whole foods, you know, yes. plenty of fruit. Try not to eat of, too much junk food. Yeah. It, it, there's no nutritional value in it. No. And your body does need to be nourished if, no. if it's going to withstand a storm. Yeah, just, just get plenty of vegetables in at the same time and... Yeah, look, you know, plenty of fluids. We have a lot of smoothies in the morning and, and uh, sometimes through the day and Lindy makes banana ice creams. and So sometimes we have raw days and other times we're just raw all through the day and then we just have our vegetables at night. 
So we're eating very well and that's the best advice we can do. Just keep eating well, get out and exercise where you can and just be all very careful about what you're doing. So Lindy's going to talk about now what she's actually put a few things together. Uh, uh, well, actually, I, I don't have to talk about it. It's self-explanatory. Yeah. Um, I've done little videos on um, just a few food preparations. Uh, and, you know, because we're stuck inside a bit, I've been dehydrating. So there's some dehydration uh, footage yeah. there. And there's, you know, just a bit about what we're eating. Yeah, and also, as you might notice, I've got a new lady in my life. She just gets see this lovely haircut. <laughs> she's, haircut look, yes. she's looking younger all the time now, and it's a bit of a worry. No, <laughs> this, is, this is actually the second haircut, and she went a lot further than what she yeah. did with the first, which I wasn't terribly happy about. But yeah. it's anyway. not too bad, and it makes swimming so much easier. Yeah. I can dive under the water and not even worry about having long, wet hair. Yeah. Well, here we are. We're just going to show you how we uh, put our table tennis together. Here's our table where we normally have our meals on. And this is how simple it is. We went to um, our buddy's warehouse and we got this... Uh, Which is our local... Um, hardware place. Hardware store. We just got... Um, this was all in one piece, but we got it cut so that we could easily put it in the car <laughs> to bring it home. And you can just see how... It, this is our table now, table table. We'll just, we'll just put the net up and just show you just how easy that is. This is just a retractable, yeah. adjustable net. Yeah. And there it is. There it is. It's our table tennis table. Very simple. So, uh, very easy to do. Three fifteen or something. Or... Okay, we'll do it at that. This is a jackfruit. Now this one I've cut up and I just want to show you how I take the segments out. I just take them out like that, pull out the middle. There's seeds in them, these big seeds, but they're actually edible those seeds. And when you uh, boil them up and take the husks off, they're, they're quite tasty. They're almost like a nut. You can make hummus out of them, you can have a roast you can have um, roast them and you can make curries out of them too. But this uh, jackfruit, I'm actually going to dehydrate it because I, we have so much of it that I can't really keep up with eating it. So these are the pieces I'm taking out. Whoops, <laughs> excuse me. Mm. They're really delicious. I hate to dehydrate it, <laughs> but I, I just can't keep up with it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take all of these segments out and put them in a dehydrator. Uh, this is all the jackfruit flesh that I've got from the jackfruit that I've just pulled apart. And there's heaps and heaps of it. It'll probably go in the dehydrator, I think, most of it. Although Den and I had a beautiful jackfruit smoothie this morning. These are the seeds that came out of it. And apparently you can do a lot of things with the seeds, so I'm going to do a few experiments with that. And over here is another one waiting for me to get to work on it. It's quite a big job. It took me hours to actually get this flesh here. It took me hours and hours to take it apart and cut it and pull all the seeds out. But also the, here is some dehydrated flesh that I did yesterday and it's, it tastes wonderful you know like there's nothing quite as sweet as this right now here's the jackfruit I've laid it out in the dehydrated trays this is how the jackfruit turned out this is the, the dried jackfruit all the pieces They're quite delicious to eat mm. Very nice. Today I'm making myself a smoothie bowl for my lunch and in in my blend bowl here I have some frozen bananas and I also have some frozen jackfruit 
At the moment, the jackfruit tree is laden with fruit and we're making the best use of it we can. And this is one of the things that we do with it. We actually make uh, jackfruit ice, ice cream and we make jackfruit smoothie bowls and jackfruit smoothies and we dehydrate it. Um, I've been doing lots of things with it. Anyway, I'm putting, I'm putting that in there with, with the banana. So now I, I've blended my frozen banana and jackfruit together. I've just put it into this little bowl and I'm going to make a um, few little extras and add them to it. I'm going to slice up a banana and put it on the side. Bananas are always good in smoothie bowls. So just arrange it on the edge here. And there's some granola here, some homemade granola. I'll put on the other edge of the bowl. And I've got some uh, blueberries here that I'm going to put in as well. So this is what my lunch is consisting of today. Hi, we're just about to sit down to dinner and tonight we're having our favourite summer meal which consists of a beautiful salad and some baked potatoes. Uh, there's no oil in those with a little bit of homemade chutney, maybe a bit of salt. Here's Denny. Yeah. He's yeah. ready to get into it. Yeah, just a um, what, What's in, the, in that what's salad? In the salad? The makeup? Well, there's lots of greens in the bottom lettuce leaves and spinach leaves and some zucchini and on the top I've put uh, avocado, mango and tomato to make it colourful. Yeah. And well, also I usually sprinkle a few um, pecan nuts on the top as well. Yeah, well that sounds pretty good. This is just um, out of the five months of raw I do, I have about five days now that I'm in that five months where I just have something like this to eat. So um, it's not too bad over five months. Ah, it's mango season here, and I've just bought these beautiful mangoes. They were on someone's tree, a local person, and they've had a bumper crop in this area lately. So there's $10 worth there, and there's around about 100 I think. I'm going to dehydrate them, probably, because I don't think that we can keep up with eating them all. They'll either be frozen, dehydrated, or they'll go into a nice mango chutney, but they're a beautiful colour and they're very tasty.